Hi, so I just got these new studio lights from Walmart and they are the Bauer two-piece set here. And you can see it supports a wide range of white light, natural light, and warm, like yellowish light, and also a bunch of other different transitions of uh, different color lights, and also a lot of effects, about 30 different effects. So this light has actually been very, very awesome. I, I am really surprised by, um, you know, the value for the money. So here I got this for 40 bucks and it was well more than I expected. And it's enough for me to do my YouTube videos and have that ambient background or even uh, supporting light to, you know, add that extra uh, kind of lighting and angle and uh, kind of shadow to some of the uh, objects that I'm trying to shoot. So I'm going to go through the different types of lighting. I'm going to go in depth on the tripod itself to the different LED modes and to the different colors and brightness and contrast. So let me get started and show you the background and ambient light that I have so you could have a context of my room light in addition to the two supporting lights for the studio lights that I just got. So this is light in my living room where I actually have um, you know, 10 lights going on. So I am going to turn off the lights and show you the lights from the ambient window. And then you could kind of gauge the brightness of the studio lights. All right, so let me get started here and um, turn off. Hey, Google, turn off the lights. So this is the brightness of the room itself without my lights. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn on the studio lights so you could see how bright they actually are. So what you see here now is the lights turned on without uh, any lights other than the ambient lights from the window. So it's an uh, overcast day right now and um, those supporting studio lights is uh, what you see relative to uh, the background. So I'm going to now turn on the room lights so you could see the difference. Hey Google, turn on the lights. And now what I'm going to do is, you, you can see the surface is a little bit brighter. Now what I'm going to do is I am going to turn off the uh, studio lights so you can see the difference of this particular uh, place here. So once again now these are the studio lights turned off and you can see on the surface here there is not as much of a reflection. Now let me go in depth and show you the lights themselves and the full range of brightness and also the different LED modes that it has. So the room lights that I have is actually pretty adequate. You, you can see I turned off one of my uh, lamps here and I have basically five bulbs there. So, uh, hey Google, turn on the second lamp. And you can see how bright it is now you know, in comparison to what I had. And even with this background light, it's not enough. I still need studio lights to make the objects that I'm filming a little bit less grainy. So uh, let me show you the second light that I have. Hey Google, turn off the first lamp. And here I got another set of five lights. So <laughs> you could tell, you know, how is it that, you know, I'm filming my stuff and those 10 lights are not enough. Well, I could tell you uh, straight up, uh, I've been doing this for five plus years. It hasn't been enough. And now with these two studio lights, um, you will be able to see the difference. And I'm going to show you that difference uh, in this review. Hey, Google, turn on the first lamp. And let me get started here. So this here is a set of two lamps and they are LED. So just to zoom in here, that's the face of the lamp and it does have a screen that's actually removable that defuses the lighting a little bit. So this is has a full range of white light to natural light to kind of yellow light, a soft warm yellow light, and also the rainbow type modes that you can see there. And just judging by the picture right here, it basically is exactly the same as the picture. And if I zoom in here from top to bottom, you could see right there, there is the tripod. And I'll go into the tripod a little bit more and how that actually works. There is three extensions, including the tripod itself. So it says here that it's 46 inches, 21 inches to 46 inches. But what I found is that it goes up as high as actually 48 inches. 
and zooming back you can see I have one set up higher than the other and now just to go through the different points of articulation here so they do have these basically thumb screws and you know you, you can move this up and down you can move it overhead just like this and simply tighten it right here on this end you know loosening this thumb screw tightening it you could also aim it towards the top if I loosen this up you know I, I could aim this even you know towards the top if I wanted to now I could rotate it 360 and tighten it so this has full range of motion these here are for the extensions and it goes from high to low so if I loosen this a little bit I, I could extend basically this up and down you know lowering this and same with this here you know lowering this some more and then here this is the tripod now I do have this a little bit more stable because I have this middle thing resting on the floor so just to give you a better picture of the tripod itself you know I do have this particular one resting on the floor so it's very stable and then for that particular one what I have here is um, this one is above ground so this particular one I have you know not resting but actually extended a little bit higher so this has basically a full range of um, I want to say just adjustments now in terms of the power source itself the outlet are USB plugs so I actually have a USB power bank here and this is enough to power both of these lights so my USB power bank actually has uh, two outputs and it fits the lights uh, perfectly now if you don't have a USB bank so one of the things I love about the USB bank is that it makes the tripod lights portable these studio lights are now portable uh, outdoors or anywhere else and um, it also plugs into basically an outlet if you have one of these uh, typical USB outlets so many of us have these uh, because of our phones so these are easy to find now there is no difference between plugging it in the wall and plugging it into this USB power bank they are both the same exact um, brightness so let me just plug it in here and you know sh demo that so I'm doing this with one hand so it's a little bit tricky but I have managed um, now uh, there is a control here where I could turn on the light so I'm gonna power on this light and you can see the surface is gonna reflect now so right here I'm gonna have this overhead light and I'm gonna turn it on and you can see how bright it is so so this here is the I believe it's the uh, let me check I, I think it's the natural light but it's actually very bright so I'm gonna switch over and show you the different modes so that's the white light and that's the natural light and this is the yellow light so so that's one of its modes let me go through that again cycle through that again this is the white light natural light and yellow light so um, let me turn it off so you could see the difference and let, let me push this a little bit further away so you could see the difference in the range again so whoops so I should have made this a little bit longer so the two lights in that position and I'm going to show you uh, the added brightness and lighting uh, on these particular objects that it's shining on so right now I'm going to turn on basically the left light and you can see right here I'm going to turn on the left light 
and of course it's a little bit overexposed so what I'm gonna do is reduce it but well, actually let me go ahead and show you the different lighting again so that's the white light which comes out a little bit bluish and this is the natural light so the way they do the natural light is on each one of these it's an alternating yellow light and white light and then this is the yellow light so let, let me move it over here so you could see the difference. So I'm gonna change modes. This is the white light, which again comes out a little bit bluish. This is the natural light, which is the alternating white light and yellow light. And then this is the yellow light itself. So I'm gonna reduce the brightness. So I am going to reduce the brightness here give you an idea so that's the lowest brightness and that's the basically the yellow light this is the white light the lowest brightness on the white light this is the natural light and this is the yellow light so let me cycle through that again so you could see there's a bluish tint here this is the white light natural light and yellow light and let me bring up the brightness so this is just with one lamp dim it make it bright again dim it so <laughs> so now you can see on the surface now I'm gonna turn on the other light from the right so let me just pull back here and show you what's going on. So that is the left light. Now I'm gonna turn on the right light. And pull this right here. Now I'm gonna turn on the right light. And this is at its brightest. This is the white light. I'm going to alternate modes. That's actually this is the white light. That's the natural light. And that's the yellow light. And I'm going to turn its dimness down a little bit. So this is the lowest setting. And pull back and show you, you know, that's the lighting. And I'm going to turn it off again so you could see uh, the surface what it actually looks like. Now I'm gonna show you some of the various different other modes here. So the RGB modes, so once again, just to remind you here of the white and yellow light range. So that is the white light, that's the natural light, and this is the yellow light. And to adjust the brightness, this is the lowest setting on the yellow light. And then this is the brightest setting. And I would say the brightest setting does look like a, you know, 60 plus watt type of brightness. And then the lowest brightness is probably around a 20 watt. So that's the yellow light brightness. I'm going to cycle through. This is the white light. So you could see there's about nine to 10 different ranges. So this is lowering it once, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. So there's basically 11 different ranges. Here's the natural light. And once again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> and uh, of course it's gonna be overexposed, but I'm just trying to give you an idea. So this is the yellow light. Lowering it, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now after that, here is the RGB different LED color modes. So I'm gonna swap. So this is red, and it doesn't come off as well um, so 
well, I guess what I'm going to try to do is like not have it directly. So hopefully you could tell the difference. So that's one mode. That's green, two modes. It's a darker green, three modes. Blue, four modes. It's kind of purplish, five modes. Pink, six modes. Red. Now this is red alternating to green alternating to like basically cycling through all the different colors. It's not coming across very well on the video because it's hard to video um, basically uh, colors or, or light. <laughs> so, so I'm going to aim it down and, and hopefully you could tell by the reflection, uh, by the reflection down there, you know, what, what color it is and what type of mode is actually occurring. So I'm going to cycle through, so, so that's like a blinking red and blue. That's a blinking red, blue, and green. So it's just blinking. This is more of a gradual, you know, red to yellow. You know, kind of like a flashing, but it's a gradual flashing. And then this is rainbow. You, you can't necessarily tell, um, but it's basically basically this this light has different rows and it has about 10 different rows each one having a different color and now this thing is kind of like cycling through so this is hard to tell and really really hard to tell on the video and this is cycling through another different design and so I think the best way to picture it is it's kind of like going through something like this. And this is exactly those last couple of modes and what it's going through. Now it does have these solid colors. So this box here is a very accurate depiction of the modes it's going through. Now I'm going to cycle through another one. Now this is a little bit more easy to tell on the video what it's doing, but it's still flashing through, you know, different color modes. This is actually red and green. So I'm just going to cycle through a bunch of these be because it's not showing up in the video anyway. And this is like a blue red. This is a blue green. And these you cannot adjust the brightness. It's just whatever mode is there is there. This is yellow and blue. This is red and blue, pink. Green and blue. Red and black, horizontal. Green and black, uh, vertical lines. Yellow and black, vertical lines cycling through horizontally so so I think there's over 30 modes so you could see that you know that you could see on the video so yeah it's just a crazy amount so so for this you can actually aim it at the wall and actually have it as different, uh, you know, reflections off the back. Like if, if you're actually doing, um, you know, a person's profile or you're actually talking on the camera, that actually, this stuff actually makes good background lighting if it's aimed right at the wall. And then it's back to the red, back to the green. So yeah, there's about 30 different modes. I'm going to switch back to the natural light. You know, dim it up a little bit. And that's the yellow light there. So, so that's all of the modes. Now for an in-depth look at the lamp. So you can see there's a diffuser here that you could actually turn uh, take off. So I'm going to take off the diffuser and you can see how many rows and columns there are for the lights. So when I slip this off here, so the diffuser basically makes the light a little bit softer. The number of LEDs. 
So the way some of the patterns work, if, if there is only white light, then all of these LEDs are white. If there is only basically yellow light, all of these are yellow. Now, if th when they simulate the natural light, which is the uh, color temperature between the yellow and white light, they'll have like alternating white and yellow light here. But the white really just kind of washes out the yellow. Now, some of the LED effects is that it'll cycle through row by row, you know, the colors, or alternate vertically the colors. So just to zoom in here, give you a better look. So that's how this lamp works. And what I mean by alternating through the colors, if I show you, you know, because it's very hard to shoot the light itself, you know, basically it alternates like that, or it blinks and transitions like that. And um, there's over 30 effects, which I will show you later. Um, so what's really doing in a lot of its effects, it's, it's either blinking the effects or it's kind of having a program pattern where it's uh, transitioning to a different color row by row or column by column. And, um, you know, just the points of articulation. If I have this right on the tripod and I loosen this up here, you can see, you know, you, you could have a flat, kind of like a lamp, angle it, or, or even aim it high, like that. And of course, this, you can move 360, basically pivots on this joint. So this is the uh, lamp itself. So what I do want to re-emphasize here is, and it's a little bit um, deceptive the way they show it, not because they want to be deceptive, but because uh, they don't know how to show that both lamps. So what I wanted to emphasize was that both lamps support all the full ranges of colors and the yellow and white light. It's not that one supports only rainbow colors and one supports only white and yellow light. Both of them, both lamps support all of the colors and all of the white and yellow light ranges. Uh, so both of the lamps are the same. I guess in the picture they just want to show you, hey, you know, that's the range it supports, but then it just gives you a a uh, very deceptive impression. Um, so, and I guess it shows here, this is a little bit more accurate, where hey, both of them supports rainbows and both of them supports um, white and yellow light. So there you go, that is the lamp itself. So I wanna say as far as brightness, in terms of what you would uh, compare to as wattage, is that it's about a 20 watt light bulb all the way up to like a 60 watt. You know, maybe even a 65 watt light bulb is how bright this thing is. Um, and they're plenty bright. You could see how many LEDs there are. So, but in terms of like a comparison to what you might know as term in terms of wattage, you know, that is uh, roughly what I would say it is. It's like a 20 watt light bulb as far as the dimming to the um, basically 60 watt light bulb. And um, if I turn on the dimming here, uh, once again, demonstrating that there are a range of 10, 10 settings for brightness and dimming. So that's the natural light, that's the, uh, that's the natural light, that's the yellow light, that's the white light, which comes out a little bit bluish. And, um, you know, just lowering it. So, so that's the lowest. And then this is one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So there's eleven settings, eleven different ranges of brightness. So I'm reducing it now. Reducing the brightness. And there you go. That is the range of brightness. So what I figured I'd do here is to demonstrate the RGB a little bit better is I have the lights turned off and I'm going to cycle through the RGB settings. So this is actually the yellow light. Now that's the red light. That's actually yellowish, green, blue, more blue, pink, and this is going to be a gradual red. So, so this Actually, this is a gradual rainbow. And then it just cycles through the rainbow colors. And this is more like a flashing type. 
flashing type different speed, gradual, and this is bright, and then it dark, and then it switches colors. And this is another mode. So this is the rainbow mode. And so these actually don't show up. Basically the rose on the LED is cycling through different colors. And this is just the flashing, almost like an SOS. This is red and green. This is rainbow. This is cycling through the colors, doesn't show up well. This is more of a flashing. So if you do, it, it, I guess it adds a little bit of ambiance. You could even use these as accent, accent lights a little bit. I'm going to cycle quickly through these last ones. They're just different colors alternating. So this is alternating uh, red and black horizontally or vertically. Same thing. So I'm just going to cycle these through these really quickly. So this you could kind of see. So I'm just cycling through the different colors this offers. And then this is back to square one. So those are the different modes in the dark. So what I want to demo here is how this tripod folds up. So I have this disconnected. So I'm going to reach over and um, you know, shrink this up. So I'm going to loosen both of these. Get this a little bit out of the way. And this is going to shrink down. Like so. Now the tricky part is this piece. And you would figure, wow, you know, how is this piece going to fold up? And hopefully I could do this easily on camera. So I'm going to loosen this knob a little bit, and I'm going to push this up. And you can see it just shrinks up. And th this is a very good stabilizer, because you could actually have a fourth leg here that's flat against the floor in addition to these three, which is what I have over here for this particular one, where the middle is actually flush against the floor, giving it more stability, even though the three legs itself is enough stability. So here, I'm going to shrink this up, like so, and then it just fits into these slots. And this is where it gets a little bit tricky, because you kind of have to, you know, fit this in all three at once. And it shrinks down to that. And this also here is removable, so you could, you know, I guess, basically... Um, disassemble this if you have to and, and just you know take these separately packed so you know very very handy and uh, you know very very versatile so I'm going to go around the box and show you uh, some of the specs on the box but before I do that notice the overexposure and reflection that you could control so for example if I start making this brighter you could see how the box has a lot more reflection and it's overexposed the reason why i'm showing you this is the demonstrating the level of control you actually do have so i'm going to start to you know dim it basically to the point where there's not as much reflection on the box now i'm going to turn it off so you could see how it looks and that is turning off the left side but the right side itself is still on so once again, just the two lamps really complement each other and gives you different positions for the lighting. Now just going through the box itself, and let me turn this back on here. 
and show you what's, <laughs> whoops, I pulled that down a little bit. I show you what's accurate and not accurate with, with the box. Because a lot of this stuff you can kind of check online, but you know, you still don't get the visual. So I mentioned the dif different uh, color modes, the three natural light modes. Now, uh, this was very deceptive with the lights, is that I thought one of the lights was LED and the other one was a white light or yellow light. But it turns out that both lamps support both and everything. You know, so both lamps supports the different uh, rainbow colors as well as the white and yellow lights. And they both support uh, exactly the same. It's not that one just comes with rainbow and one just comes with white light. They both support uh, the full range of rainbow colors and white and yellow light. Um, it says it's it's a remote, but it's a it's basically a control, right? It's not a remote control. It's it's not wireless. It's um, connected to the wire, the USB wire, where you plug it in to the power source. Now it's a USB. And as I mentioned with the USB, you could have an adapter to plug into a wall outlet or you could use a power bank like I have. And the great thing about that is that it's portable. The power bank is portable. Um, now this does go up to basically uh, 40, it says 46 inches. I find it's like 48 inches and from uh, here, so it it does uh, adjust horizontally, as I uh, showed before, and it is two pack. The color temperature, I think that's about right, as far as the three different uh, white to yellow color temperatures. And this is a foldable design, so I haven't showed that yet. Let let me show that um, as part of the. Yeah, so let me show that now. And if I go around here, you know, very accurate, 21 inches to about, you know, 46, 48 inches. I mean, they, they do tip over pretty easily because they are light. Um, but that's also a plus too, that the fact that they're light, uh, you know, they're good for packing up for travel and all of that. It does not come with a carrying case. And just to give you the full range. So you could see, uh, you know, that tipped over just from a little bit of a tug. And that's just because I have my wires all crossed up like that uh, because I'm trying to do this video. And as you can see from the reflections off a of surface, it does have those various different warm colors. Um, but that's really it. I think that's really what I wanted to show and I hope this helps. And uh, please subscribe and support this channel by, uh, I, I guess, uh, subscribing and thumbing up this video. And I hope this helps and thank you so much for watching.